Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Beyond the School Run video vlog. Um, after the success of our last um, conversation, my last conversation with the lovely Sally from Queen Bee Styling, I'm, I'm here with her again at our first um, Beyond the School Run um, offline event where we've got pair mothers together to come together in a room to talk about um, their steps beyond the school run. Um, and it's been a really, really interesting event. And I wanted to just share today, um, seeing Sally, meeting up with Sally again, um, her really inspiring um, talk about um, wardrobes again and the last conversation we had Sally in which we shared was really popular on our last vlog was we talked about decluttering and we talked about um, finding your own kind of style and I feel beyond there that's that point which I kind of got to is sort of where along with seasons a bit like seasonal um, food and seasonal changes how do we sort of make these slight adjustments that aren't too expensive don't take too much time and um, just give us the lift that we need as we sort of change through seasons um, so do you have any, are there any suggestions, although I've just seen your lovely talk, um, about what we can do right now just to kind of help us sort of update where we've got to with, um, for example, my current um, uh, kind of uniform? Okay, so I think the first thing is to decide, uh, d don't focus on every single end use. So, for instance, if you are having trouble with your Monday to Friday uh, clothes, then I think just focus on those. And um, so if you are somebody who always wears um, jersey wear or a, a striped top, um, I know that m for me and my particular area, then um, navy and white breton stripes and skinny jeans seem to be a bit of a uniform. So um, if that's the case, then what I would say to update it quite easily is to just take the same formula. So I do have one, especially for pairs here, um, and then just simply change the colour. So this is just a simple gap top, but the fact that it's in yellow um, not only uh, adds colour, but it, you know, it's one of the key colours for the spring, and it also it lifts the wardrobe, so you're immediately moving away from navy and white into something that's a little bit different. And then um, the other key area to, to add in, um, I think I've said before, is accessories. So, for instance, um, I think we've all got the longer lines and quite big uh, uh, scarves in our wardrobe. But the newer scarves to have, so this is about just a little bit of update which makes a huge amount of difference to the wardrobe, is the silk scarf. And so uh, this is just a long, slim one. I don't know if you can see it. From Topshop. It's not particularly expensive, it's £12. But I think if you then combine the two, and I would just simply loop this around. Um, I think the actual clash there, sorry, yeah. see, the clash of the actual prints and the stripe works really nicely, and then it moves you out of um, your comfort zone, and it's just a couple of small, really easy updates. And um, when you are clashing the prints, what I would say is just make sure the colours sit together, so yeah. the colours are tonal. So that would be my tip for just updating your day-to-day wardrobe. -day I love that, and I love that kind of a whole scarf, kind of just kind of knotted round. It looks really nice. And as instead of jewellery as a kind of alternative that's yeah. really interesting especially really if great. you have small children <laughs> yeah scarves can be better than <laughs> jewellery so they tend to grab them so yeah. that's brilliant um, the one thing I, I just reminded me actually about your talk Sally is at that conversation that you shared about suits now I kind of really related to that you just showed us a suit um, that maybe lots of us had from our kind of our, our previous um, when we were working pre-kids um, can you just show a little bit on that because I think that's really interesting as well actually should I get the song for yes, quickly? Yes, okay, please. Talk while I'm so um, I think what Sally kind of referred to um, as part of the um, looking at the sort of thing, the garments in your wardrobe and possibly clearing some of them is this one there I think probably resonated with a lot of people here was um, a, a garment that sort of a lot of people seem to have that possibly is... Um, now, um, I have to say, I find one of these lurking in the back of every single person's wardrobe, including my own. I did actually have my own I have one suit. Those. And I think yeah. if we go back to um, working girl, Melanie Griffiths, we all had these suits in our wardrobe. So um, they generally tend to come in grey, um, usually with a nice bit of what's known as pick stitching around the edge. 
and um, they, they sort of date probably from around about 10 years ago I'd say and the thing is we paid a lot of money for them and we don't want to chuck them out but I can guarantee that most people are not actually wearing them now and the difference is if you compare the style of this jacket now to a contemporary jacket that you can buy today <laughs> is they are far more boxier and they've got larger shoulder pads they don't actually contour the body particularly well they're actually quite big and um, immediately when you put this on you are going to look dated so if you are somebody that has had a break from work and are thinking about interviewing again then I would urge you um, um, to chuck out the suit in your wardrobe and actually look to update it so um, this, this is the jacket from this particular suit and I'll just show you the trousers and then I love what you then talked about the alternatives when you showed me the alternatives I just think it was so inspiring to see when you do go for it whether you're going for an interview or you're going for a meeting the alternatives but let's okay. see the trousers right. first, I just have I've to had say these. because don't be tempted by the fact that wide leg trousers are coming back in trend because they won't be like this I don't think you can see they're basically straight up and down they have no leg shape at all so I think they can be confined I did to keep the those, bin. I kept those in my wardrobe for a while and I think they've only just gone so the alternatives so much better so if we're looking for a, a modern workwear update I have started with just a lovely slim leg trouser and I think these are the modern update of the, of the basic item in your wardrobe um, and they're not expensive they're from Zara they're £26 and if you can see they've actually got just a nice slim leg on them and the great thing about these and wearing them at this sort of length is you can wear them in heels you can wear them with ankle boots and they also look great with flats they're a cotton fabric they're really comfortable and they're super super flattering and um, I mean you can have them in navy but I actually like this colour because I think it's appropriate for work but it also just adds a little bit of life and it's, it's quite good for spring um, I'm going to hand those over to you <laughs> thank you and what I've done is um, just here again just an update team them with a simple knit this is actually just a light grey colourway which works really nicely with the blue and um, one of the other things is I've already talked about the long skinny silk scarf um, this is actually like a neck achieve and again it's a new um, update of um, accessories it's a great way to add in colour and a new design to a plain outfit and um, I think it works really nicely in pulling together the colours here and just to smarten up the whole look I've teamed it here with um, a long line statement jacket I love this coat where's this coat from? the coat is from Zara it's really lovely and again so I think that's a, a really lovely coat which smartens up the trousers and the top and also uh, this sort of coat you can wear socially with jeans um, it's really really versatile the other thing to note about this outfit is if, if you are not going for an interview and you do go um, a lot of interviews now on the video um, wearing a lighter colour next to my skin is actually really yeah. exciting so if you are having a video interview then avoid wearing really really dark colours I would say because they will wash you out more draining you want to look vibrant and you want to look bright and, yeah. and I think having a, a neutral bright tone like a lighter tone does that really well I think this is brilliant this is covering off which we talked about in our last vlog was moving away from black and really kind of starting to explore new areas and for me when I see this this looks really inspiring moving away from that sort of old sort of old school suit to this and um, and also then Sally looking at our kind of just our just kind of seasonal update um, just generally is really really great any final kind of tips from you Sally on your um there might not be but are there any final tips um just at this stage of if anyone's just going um either going you know just for work or if they're combining work at home and they're not sort of out about having you know necessary meetings is there any other places to look or go or anything like that you might um, what, to, to, to shops, shops. Or, yes. yeah. Um, I mean I think the high street is great I think um, Zara Topshop Cos Uniglo I think they they all offer um, really good value for money one thing I would say is um, which I said before in the talk is, is just focus on the one thing you need. So, for yeah. instance, if you um, are at home Monday to Friday and you need a smart casual wardrobe, yeah. just look to get one 
outfit yeah, because I think oh, to yeah, actually yeah, try to shop so for yeah. you know oh, 10 things yeah, at once exactly. becomes um, yeah. pretty daunting especially if you haven't shopped for a long time yeah. and the other thing I'd say is for instance if you are a jeans person is, yeah. and you've been wearing the same style I mean uh, the, one of the big big changes and shifts that's happening in fashion I'd say is uh, our trouser shapes yeah. so we're now moving away from skinny jeans and there are huge amounts of alternatives out there on the high street yeah. so what I would say is if jeans are your thing and you have been wearing the same shape for a long time just change your denim shape and that's the same if, you know, if you're a dress person and you're always wearing the same dress you're always in a navy shift dress at work just change just find that one thing don't focus on anything else because yeah. just adding one yeah, new yeah, contemporary yeah. style yeah. will yeah. completely yeah. shift yeah. Thank you your so much for that's brilliant Thank Sally thanks so much for the tips it's been really really great well, thank I'll you for having me back oh, it's really great it. to my see second you. vlog ever it's <laughs> second vlog and also I keep yeah. we keep meeting up at all yeah. these events as well which is really great so I hope that's inspired you all and um, we, I look forward to connecting with you next week many thanks Thank you.